I'm Karen Williamson. I live uh, north of Eastland, around a little area called Morton Valley, and I am 66 years old, and I am proud of my age, so. Got several children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Uh, started, uh, been married for 30 some odd years. Uh, live on a farm with my adorable husband, Jerry. And I started running about eight years ago and totally out of my comfort zone. Almost like this shoot was, very out of my comfort zone because I was never uh, athletic in high school. Give me the flute or a book and I was happy that athletics was and kind of a fluke how it started, but uh, here I am. And then I jumped into this shoot and absolutely loved it. The Legendary Ladies campaign, um, I read about it on a Facebook post. Didn't think too much about it. Went back a few days later and thought, I'm just gonna, I had a few minutes, so I started reading about it. And the more I read about it, the more I thought, wow, this is cool. I was sitting at the dining room table and I looked up to uh, our corner hutch at pictures of my mother and my father, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law all professional photos. And I thought, all we have is snapshots and iPhones these days. I wanted that. And I wanted my kids to have something. I think I lack some self-esteem. Uh, I tend to be an in the shadows person, though some people that know me would disagree with that. I, I can kind of get out in front sometimes. I, I tend to be a background person. So putting me out there to sit in front of a camera like a professional model was like, uh, no, not me. That, that I wasn't comfortable with that. But it just, it just, it resonated with me. My hesitation at first was, do I really want to sit in front of a camera and somebody look at me, you know? I don't believe that I'm photogenic. When you look at my race pictures, the little snapshots we do at the races and stuff, I am pretty photogenic because it's, it's natural and I'm comfortable. I'm not natural and comfortable in front of a camera with, its, just, with, with the focus on me. So my hesitation was, I'm gonna look goofy. <laughs> I didn't look goofy. Oh. Trust me, if it's outside your comfort zone, you don't even compare to being outside of what my comfort zone was. This was a huge step for me, and I'm so proud that I did it. If you're hesitant about doing this, I just want to encourage you to not be hesitant. You won't, you won't believe the feeling you're going to get with this experience. It's just, it's a great feeling and it, it I don't know, it just, it meant a lot to me and anybody that's hesitant, especially these women over 40 legendary ladies, you're a legend. You may not believe you are, but you are. Just ask those around you. There was a cute conversation the other day at my house. One of my grandsons, who's six and a half, was walk, spent the night and he was walking through the house and he was looking at the uh, china hutch or the corner cabinet where the the portraits are of my parents and my in-laws. And I have a picture of me with one of the, the black and white that I did, me dressed in black, sitting down, and it's on that shelf. I'm proud that I've added that. Well, I was in the bathroom putting on my makeup and I heard this conversation between my grandson and my husband. And they, my grandkids call me Mogan. And he was talking about this picture of Mogan. And granddad said, yeah, and they talked about it a minute. Then they walked into uh, our bedroom where I also have another of my photos that you did. And I don't know what my grandson said, but my husband responded, she's a good looking chick, isn't she? And my grandson said, oh, granddad, you can't tell her that. He didn't realize that was a compliment. <laughs> Good looking chick. No, it, it did a lot for me. Yeah.